Hi, I'm the Grow Boss, and this is my garden review. I just take random pictures and go over them with you so you get an idea of what I'm thinking when I look at them. Okay, when I check out a garden, what am I looking for? First thing are healthy plants. I want to see healthy plants because that's super important to getting the yield that I want. So first things first, this plant's eight weeks deep into flower. At that point, she should look like she's finishing. Her bud should be big. She should look like she wants to be chopped down. And they are. And they do. Look at those buds. Super nice. All right, now this deep into flower, her leaves should be yellow and paling. There shouldn't be any nutrients left, and she should be starving. That way your bud won't be so harsh, right? Okay, last thing, I'm gonna, next thing I'm going to check is the area. And here's why. It takes a 4x4 four by, four by 2 feet deep area to grow 1 and 1 half pounds. So let's, let's see if it works out here in this garden. That light's dark. That area's dark. We can kind of see this area matches that light. This light's on. This light's dark. We can see that matches this area here. And so we can see that there are one, two, three, four areas and four lights as well. Okay, so that kind of, these are four by eight trays, so two areas gets us our four by four. Let's take one look at the two feet deep here. We can see stretching across his garden that this is about two feet deep. So he's got four by four by two feet, so he'll be able to get a pound and a half per light. So the plants are healthy, the area matches, and so yield should be a pound and a half. That works out pretty good. Now notice nowhere in this equation did I count the number of plants. Why? Because the number of plants don't matter. I will show you, however, that in this four by eight table, there is one, two, three by one, two, three, four, five plants. So in this case, there's 15 plants per four by eight table, two feet deep. Now, this guy's getting four pounds per 2,000 watts. And how is he doing that? Well, it turns out that back here, there's CO2. But I'm not going to get into the equipment yet. That's for the next section. But you can see the idea. And so, hang on. Let's do the, uh, let's do the equipment section next. And... And if you want more information on growing, you can pick up a set of my No More Grow More flashcards from my website, thegrowboss.com. It's everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. And while you're there, check out my other products. Okay, now it's time to check the equipment. So let's see what this guy has. He has one, two, three, four eight lights, right, so we're looking at 8,000 watts. He's got no vents, no venting, but that's okay because there's no glass in his hood. That's the best way you could do it. No glass is the coolest thing. All right, let's check out the fan. There's no exhaust. Which means this guy has an AC, a dehumidifier, and a CO2 burner that we can't see in the picture. Okay, that's pretty good. It makes sense if you've got a CO2 molecule like this and it goes into the fan, it'll just come right back out into the room so you won't be wasting any CO2. The AC will keep the temps down. The dehumidifier will keep the humidity down, which works extra well because the burner increases both temp and humidity. 
So that works out pretty well. Now, there could be a light mover, but he is on a 4x8 table. So you can see the area, you know, he's got two hoods, a light mover probably wouldn't do it. All right, now, let's talk about the space between the light and the garden. Because everybody puts their lights right here. We've all done it. We start our garden, and that little plant, your little plant, can't grow anywhere because the light's just beating down on her and she can't grow anywhere, right? And so this area between the light and the canopy top is super important. It's also just as important to make sure that when you're finishing that the light penetrates all the way into the canopy so the buds down here are as big as the buds up on top. Alright, so no glass in the hood, no vent, no exhaust, CO2, and now let's take a look at those buds again. Those are big buds. You want to know how you get two pounds per thousand, two pounds per thousand watt light? Well, you end up with one and one half per thousand watt plus 25 percent for CO2. And so that's why I always tell you guys, anytime you have something like 8,000 watts going, why don't you have CO2? I mean, you're going to have to buy an AC anyway, right? I mean, you're going to have to control the temperatures. You're going to need a dehumidifier for this garden. You know it's going to get hot. And you would never use like a tank. You would never use like a tank in a garden like this. Or you'd be refilling those 20-pound tanks, you know, like every day. So you wouldn't use any of that stuff, you'd have a burner for it, but at 8,000 watts, CO2, CO2 equals 25%. So if you have eight lights, there's an H in there, that's like getting two lights free. That's why you always use CO2 in a garden, especially when it's like this and you're just circulating back into the room, right? Okay. Hydroponics can be confusing and expensive if you don't know what you're doing. That's why I wrote the Grow Book and Equipment Guide and these fact cards. Sold at your local store, it's everything you need to know to get started doing this without wasting all that money. I'm the Grow Boss, I wrote the book. Trust me, I answer the same questions every day and this book is full of the answers. Right, so we check CO2, so let's talk about the relationship between the light and the plant again, and this is super important. Notice that this plant is a scrog. How do I know? That's because there's a trellis here and here. You may not be able to see it in the picture, but there's a trellis here and another one laid out right down here. It's super important to control the top of the canopy. That way you make sure that your light distribution stays even. All right, so let's talk about that light distribution because there's some important stuff. There's one of those hoods, it really, you know, that small kind of focus hood looks like this. Its light is very deep. Then there are hoods like these. Now these hoods tend to be wider and the light distribution pattern tends to be not as deep. And so if you try to grow a big plant like this in a garden like this, you end up with only this part buds and all of this section here is wasted. It's your job to match the correct garden shape, in this case a scrog, to the light. So if you're going to grow a scrog with a very wide light distribution but, sh but shallow distribution, then you're going to grow a series of plants that looks like this. This is a scrog, you'll top it early. You can see the buds look like this, just like in the garden we're looking at. Right? And so the most important thing to note about this is if you have this much light penetration and you have this much canopy inside of it, then you have used all of the light 
and converted all of the light into bud, which is the name of this game, right? Photosynthesis, light, water, CO2 equals sugar and oxygen. I mean, that's the name of this game, right? You're going to grow buds. Because if you took that same hood that had a light distribution pattern that looked like this, and you grew a couple of these in there, you're going to have to ask yourself, why are you doing this? Because you're only going to end up with like half of what you're supposed to. So you're going to end up with like three quarters a pound per thousand watt light. I see it all the time. You don't want to be that person. All right, let's see. What's and if you want more information on growing, you can pick up a set of my No More Grow More flashcards from my website, thegrowboss.com. It's everything you need to know to grow, guaranteed. And while you're there, check out my other products. Okay, so in conclusion, the guy's got a pretty healthy garden with big buds, a dense canopy, with enough area to grow his expected yield. That's perfect. He's got the right amount of light, the right distance away. There's no need to vent. If you have an AC and a dehumidifier, because you can control all the atmospheric conditions. There's enough vent, there's enough circulation fan to blow the area. You can see he's monitoring the temperature and humidity. And so this is pretty good. There's some bug traps hanging. It's always better to be safe than sorry. But other than that, I mean, this garden is knocking it out of the park. You should be so lucky. I'm the Grow Boss. Let me know how your garden's turning out.